Hey everyone! Welcome to my art corner. My art studio is literally a corner of my living room. This works out well for me as a mom because I can keep a close eye on my kids who are one and four years old. And if I'm really lucky, they'll work on their own art projects while I paint. Here's my light setup. We mounted these soft boxes to the ceiling to keep them out of the way. The CFLs I got were a little too bright for this small space, so I added an extra white sheet to soften the light further. I'm using the same easel my father built for me when I was a kid. It just worked out well for this small space, but I do intend to build a more vertical easel in the near future. But for those who are interested, this is just held together by a few large bolts, and it is adjustable to accommodate larger canvases. And here's where my blind cat hangs out with me while I paint. I keep my palette in this covered box to keep dust out when I'm not using it. I don't usually use a glass palette, but I recently decided to try it. I just took the glass out of a picture frame and set it on some cardboard for a neutral backing. I actually really loved using the glass palette, but I'm a little nervous about using something breakable around my kids, so I'm probably going to go back to using this toned palette paper for now. My husband built this movable art cart for me, which I absolutely love. After the kids were born, I had him enclose it and put a child safety lock on the door. Here's the supplies I use on a daily basis. I generally use a very limited palette. I'll list these colors in the description box below. Something I highly recommend is this tool. It is really helpful when you have old tubes of paint that just don't want to open. I use walnut oil to thin my paints. I put a little bit in a baby food jar and use this laboratory pipette to dispense a drop at a time. I'll be doing another video in the near future all about solvent-free oil painting and go into greater detail about this. Then I have these wood blocks with grooves cut in them that my husband made so I can lay my wet brushes flat. And they are stackable to save space. Then I have a palette knife, a variety of brushes in a plastic holder, and an extra camera battery and charger for when I'm filming. Inside the cabinet is everything I don't use every day, such as gesso and varnish, other tubes of paint, extra large brushes, sketchbooks, cleaning solution, nitrile gloves, etc. This is the studio setup that has worked for me as a parent of small children. I hope you enjoyed this brief tour.